Okay, so we're going to install Linux Mint on Windows 10, which is an EFI boot. So if we look on disks, we can see that our partitions have got uh, the EFI partition, Windows partition, free space, which is where we'll install Linux, and our data partition, where our backups are, or where our data is. Okay, so EFI partition, very uh, important. That, uh, that 4K, uh, 4 gigabyte disk is our USB SIC. Uh, if we start the installer. Tell it what language we want to use. Installed third party. Wait for it to progress. Okay, then it asks you uh, do you want to unmount partitions? Click yes. Okay, so we could, because we've got blank space there, or a free space, we could install using alongside and then install now, but this time we're going to use something else. Then we need to change our boot location to the Windows Boot Manager, which is the EFI partition. So we need to change that first. Then we need to add a partition at the end. I'm going to make this 2000 megabytes, which is 2 gigabytes. Wait for that to progress. I'll set up the partition. So I've speeded this up, as you could probably tell. I can spin spinning. And now we're going to create another partition in the large free space. This time we're going to make it around about 50,000 megabytes, which is 50 gigabytes. We use the slash as a partition type, uh, or mount point, and that will make a root partition. So on this stop in story, we're going to have swap root and a home partition. Again we wait for it to confirm that those partition details. Okay then in the free space we're gonna use all the free space and we're gonna make a home partition. Again this needs to write the information. Okay so we've made it a swap partition, a home partition, swap, root, a home, and we've changed where the bootloader is going to go. Click install, then click continue, and then it'll ask you some questions, your location, your name, uh, what you want to call your computer. Okay, and then it'll ask you for a password. And then I require my password to log in. The uh, installation will continue. I click restart now, and then you can see that we've gone onto the installed hard drive or installed system. I'm just going to turn Bluetooth off for a minute. And then if we go to disks, we can see that we've been, this is an install. Okay, so that's your EFI partition. That's your swap partition, your root partition, and your home partition. Your Windows partition, where all your Windows items are. And that's all done. There you go.